Hello again, and welcome to the first video for Random Game Engine, or RGE. What we're going to do is set everything up for our little project. So, um, what this project is, we're going to pretty much build a game engine from scratch. We're gonna, I'm going to show off all the code, the development process that I use, which is iterative, and generally to show how I do work on this sort of stuff. Um, so, hopefully this, I will use this as a, and as a engine for future games and stuff like that. So, let's get started. First things first, let's get everything set up on GitHub. So, we're gonna look at this tutorial, which I already created the GitHub thing for. Cape Engine RGE to readme.md. There we go. Get in it. <coughs> <coughs> um, let's see here. Hmm. Let's go to project three. Oh. Let's make a new folder first. R G E. Move you guys down here. There we go. C D. Let's go CD and RGE. There we go. Okay. Let's get add readme at md and then get commit env commit. Get remote. Yeah, it's just basically starting up a project. And I'm going to be lazy on this one. This Copy and paste this. Copy. Oh, I can't copy. Why <laughs> won't you let me copy? You're horrible. LD six 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 oh and um game engine or G E dash dot get. And for the final push for this, we're going to get push you origin master. ALD six six O to do 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 Oh so there we go. Okay. Now we have Git set up. So now, boom. Okay. Next thing we need to do before we are 100% committed on this project. Wrong folder. We're gonna need to go to this folder, and we're gonna create a new folder called Libraries. And we're going to download several libraries that we're going to use. Um, this game is going to be, this actually game engine is going to be used with, um, we're going to use SDL for our windowing, which is going to be, let's go to engine 2, games, actually let's go to desktop. We're going to use SDL for windowing. Um, let's add this to my favorites so I don't have to w waste time. There we go. We're going to use SDL for a lot of things. Includes uh, windowing, um, <coughs> opening an image. <laughs> and rendering font.
And we're also going to be using OpenGL 3.3, modern OpenGL. So let's download binaries for Google, for OpenGL's Raggler, which allows us to use extensions and updated versions of um, excuse me of OpenGL. And let's go down here. Pro RGE libraries. There we go. Okay. Next, we're going to get a basic um, directory structure going. Bin. Excuse me again. Include for header files. Lib <coughs> for libraries and as our source for our source code. Next thing that we want to do is I'm going to use um, Visual 2015. I finally updated. So, we're going to use this as a primary as primary development environment. Okay. So, get another new project. I know this is boring, but this is how it is. When you start off a new project, you have to just get started. And what we want is C++. We're going to click this one. We're going to make an empty project. This is going to be called VS 2015. We're going to browse for our project here because I don't like using here we go, select subfolder, and we're going to press OK. <coughs> Alright, there we go. This will be the first time I've ever used 2015. I haven't used the only one I've been using is um, Visual Studio 2010, so yeah. We're going to change the location of our source code. Source right here. Folder. And this is going to be our main CP. Add. There we go. Right now, we're just going to make it include IO stream, and we're just going to have int arc char arg of the. And we're just going to turn zero. This is going to be std cout hello world, just to make sure this is working. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so, next. Exit this, close. Close. Go back to here. Okay, we have all this set up for now. <coughs> for right now, we're going to get these libraries out of here. Extract. Got beep. these in here. Copy this to bin because this will be our execution directory. Let's see, paste. And we're going to make a new data folder for our assets that we'll use for testing. Okay, let's go in here. Uh, let me go back to the library. Delete this. We don't need that here. Delete. And we need the include files. go. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to continue doing this with all these other ones. I'm just going to open these real fast. There we go. I 
paste these right here. I want all these DLL files to go where the bin binary is. You're going to go in here. Oh, one thing I need is the includes, which thankfully it's this one. Yeah, I should have done this beforehand. Stop it. Uh, just do it to all, I don't care. That's fine. Okay, so what are we going to do during this series? One, we're going to develop a game engine. That's pretty much it. Number two, we're also going to make an editor for this game engine. <clears throat> we're it, the objective is to make it I think the objective is to pretty much make a generalized game engine. That's the objective. I didn't have that one. And because of that, I just want you. We're going to focus on pretty much the building blocks of how engines work. And I forgot a couple things. Oh boy. Which I have them in here. <laughs> This is what I get for <laughs> making a video while I'm working on this. Uh. <coughs> and we need to include from this. Include, copy this. Bam. Go back to RG. Okay. Actually, there's one more library that I want. And that is GLM. Jolim is a math library. <laughs> We're gonna get downloads. Uh, 7-zip, be fine, save. We're going to go to project, DLG, libraries. Boom. So. I don't care. <laughs> boop, boop, do, 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 do. LM, LM. I want this. Okay. I think that's all we need. Okay, so let's get started on configuring Visual Studios. And I want you over here. there. Okay, first off we're going to right click this, go to properties. We're going to binary is going to be here. We're going to name this, we're just going to do debugging for now. So run D. Debugging. Working directory. Browse. RGE binary for here. This is the implicit place where include is and libraries. This da 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 lib. All right. We don't need to do anything here. We 
do need to do inputs, which I'm going to do in a sec. I will do um, fix up release on um, releases during. Yeah, that's everything. Uh, off screen, so we don't have to um, worry about that. So put you in the corner. Collision view. Click the properties, and we're gonna edit you. So edit. So steel to main dot lib. Steel to dot lib. Steel to image dot lib. Steel to ttf dot lib. All right. Next, we're going to need um, OpenGL32.lib. That's for OpenGL. Glue32.lib. And glue.lib. There we go. And next, we need to go to the system, and we're going to do a console application apply. There we go. Okay, so let's test, do a little test build, see if this runs. Oh, work for me, baby. There we go. Actually, let's do std get char just to make sure this is working. Build. Cool. Alrighty then. Okay. How many minutes am I in the video? 17 minutes. We could get start getting. We could get started with um, adding source code and stuff like that. But before we do that, let's make sure that everything's in the bin. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Let's get started on some basic stuff. Um, first off, I'm going to teach you something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I don't want you there. We're going to learn sys.h. I think that's getting saved in the source file. Yes. And now I do not want to use prog once. I want to go if sys dot h find sys dot h. Doing it the old old core Linux old core C plus plus programmer way. Okay. One thing I like doing with headers is that I like keeping them together. Um, I don't like I I like to be able to include a single header file and it has everything I can play around with. So that's what we're going to do here. So, this will be standard libraries. If I can spell it. Third party, which is going to be SDL and all other fun stuff. And project libraries, which is going to be all the header files that we create. Okay, so. First off, I want C C S T D I O C S T D lib include C S T D C math include C time include file stream include F stream. <laughs> I've been using a text editor straight for I've been using a uh, Atom which doesn't add these in so I'm relearning this this tool is kind of <sighs> why are you doing that okay vector and map all right that's all the standard libraries we're gonna need so now we need sdl.h include 
SDL image. SDL TTF. And GL that glue. And GLM. GLM. And GLM EXT for extensions. There we go. Okay. So let's throw this in here. And this. There we go. So let's. Yes. It should just give us the same thing. <coughs> yep, did. Cool. Okay, now. And I th think this pretty much covers what I want to do for this first video. Okay, um, that was, this is, was a pretty boring video, um, but we got a lot of stuff done. Um, we have Visual Studio set up, and we have a basic main file. We have, first time I've ever used um, Visual Studio 2015, uh, looks promising. And yeah, for the most part, it works. So, the next video, we're going to try to get a window loaded up. So, until then, I will see you guys later, and y'all take care.